This is the third video in a three video series showing the workflow for efficiently downloading and marking and uploading a class set of assignments in Moodle 2.3 or higher. The first video shows downloading the submitted assignments in a single zip file with the grading worksheet. The second shows grading the assignments using eMarky and Assistant and entering the marks into the grading worksheet. And this video will show zipping the marked assignments and any additional feedback files into a single file and uploading this to Moodle. And then uploading the grading worksheet into the Moodle gradebook. Here we've got the folder with the marked assignments in it. And you'll see the assignment here. You will remember that the first part of the file name includes the name, an identifier, and then some text. And you must make sure that that part of the file name stays the same. Anything after this you can change. Here we've got another file that is going to be returned to this person, Edmund Hillary. Here we've got a file, and I've actually put the mark into the file name, 75 out of 100. And here's a completely new file that I'm returning to the person. As long as this first part of the file name stays the same, it is fine. Here we've got the grading worksheet. I often put that in the folder. It just keeps things organised. This will open up in Excel. And if we look at this, when we look at it, you'll see the name of the student, username, the grades that I've entered when I've been marking it. And if we scroll through to the end, you'll see feedback comments which will go into the feedback field. Now what we need to do is to zip all of these files together into a single file. The easiest way of doing that using Windows is highlight all the files, right click and then send it to compressed files. That will create a single zip file which is here, and we can then upload that. We'll now go into our Moodle site, click the assignment, click to go to the grid view, and we're just going to be working with group one. Here in the grid, we'll see there's no grades, there's no feedback, and there's no feedback file. Now we will upload the zip file. Upload, we will now zip file. I could have used the drop and now import. We will then see a message that shows all of the files that have been uploaded including the ones that are completely new. I'll confirm this and then we can go to the gradebook and we will see the files that I've uploaded and they're shown here. We now need to upload the feedback comments and the actual grades. Choose Upload Grading Worksheet. Again, browse to us. Choose the file. Here it is. Upload. And then Upload Grading Worksheet. We're again shown the, the grades that will be uh, uploaded as well as the feedback. Confirm this continue and now 
when we look at the see the grades are filled in as well as the feedback.